The Central Line Placement Module provides trainees with the ability to practice a variety of clinical scenarios, including different approaches for central line placement. Trainees can navigate internal jugular vein and subclavian access, infraclavicular and supraclavicular approach, the realistic anatomy organ palpation and markers, such as sternomastoid muscle, clavicle, suprasternal notch, trachea, manubrium, and first rib are also available. The module includes tutorial movies, educational tasks for step-by-step -step ultrasound guided procedures, both out of plane and in plane, and clinical cases varying in internal jugular vein position relative to the artery and depth. Each case starts with a patient file for the trainee to review. Let's start with ultrasound assessment to identify the vessel's location. Evaluation of the depth and adjustment of the ultrasound image. Anatomical labels help the trainee better identify the different anatomy structures. Importantly, by applying slight pressure with the probe, we will verify internal jugular vein compression. Color Doppler can also be used for full assessment. For the next step, we will choose the needle puncture location. For the out-of-plane approach, we will place the linear probe in short axis and adjust the internal jugular vein to be at the center of the ultrasound image in the triangle region formed by the sternocleidomastoid muscle. While the needle is advancing, follow the tip with the ultrasound while tilting the probe. Once the vein is reached, the illustrated syringe will start filling with dark blood. Verify that the needle is in the vein. Place the probe down and press insert wire. A virtual wire will be inserted into the vein. Training can also include full hands-on practice using a real guide wire and catheter if desired. Just press the needle freeze button, unplug the syringe with the needle tracking sensor, and insert a guide wire. Once complete, verify with the ultrasound probe that the wire is in place. Different complications and scenarios are also supported in the central line placement module. During training, performance is tracked and reported at the end of the procedure. Posterior wall puncture of the vein will not allow wire insertion. Accidental puncture of the artery will induce a syringe filling with bright blood and a warning will appear. In the subclavian approach, verification of intact lung using ultrasound assessment is available. In the case of a needle puncture through the lung, pneumothorax can be diagnosed with an ultrasound scan. Once the procedure is done, exit and review the report.